Hello my little munchkins, my little crones, and my sunflowers. How are you on this Saturday evening? Well, I hope that your day was absolutely super califagilistic expialidocious. You know that came from the play Mary Poppins when I was a little, little girl. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, with that being said, I had one of my uh, devoted followers wanted me to do a reading on two people but one of the people that what they wanted me to do it on was on um oh what was his name quit sorry quincy, quincy jones. jones and today today we're doing meg the stallion yes he she wanted me to do a a, a reading on quincy jones and and the conspiracy about Quincy Jones. But I wouldn't want to do it, but I want to do a little bit more deep dive study on that. So instead, she also wanted me to do a reading on Meg Thee Stallion after the Coe Lane. Tory Lane. Tory Lane. And she wanted to know how she was doing. So this is what I'm going to say, and then I'm going to give it over to Baby Clone. Um, I don't know if I heard anything from Meg since last year. That's I, I thought correct. That she did have something new. Nope. So it's like after that, I don't know if she just stopped. Did she take a break? I don't know what happened to me. Didn't she dance in some kind of? Oh, well, she's been doing something, but I don't know about her music. I went looking for something. I thought I found something for a, a, a minute and forty something seconds. No. Um, she had made an album that came out around this time last year, and it was her Traumazine album. Yes, Traumazine, okay. And <clears throat> she was really emotional performing this on stage, I remember, back this time last year. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about, well, once this trial happened, she was talking about how it was really embarrassing that her sex life is being talked to the public. <clears throat> And her boyfriend at the time was not. Did they break up? Let me see if they broke up. But that's such a travesty, you know? And so, anyway, this person, Miss Queen, she wanted to know what's going on with her post this court case, right? So, I'm definitely. I, and you know, I don't know if I read on Meg Thee Stallion. Oh. I had to. <clears throat> Sadly, they broke up in May of this year. I'm not so distressed of the distress of it. Distress yes, her of it. and party. Her and party. Yes, P A R D I party. What is party? That that's the name of her boyfriend. Oh, why do you say her and party? <clears throat> broke up. She was and her broke up. God, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Too much. But you don't need anything like that. On a sidebar, that remind me of Meg the Stallion. I mean, yeah, not Meg the Stallion. That remind me of um, what you call it, who boyfriend broke up with her. Yes, Lizzo. Lizzo. Who want men like that? When things get rough, you run out on me. You know, they didn't even make it a year after this, right? So anyway, this is Meg Thee Stallion. Let's see what's going on. What's going to show up with you, Meg? What's going on with you, girl? What's going on? Are you coming back? We'll ask that, but what's going on? Well, here, I see Meg. She's like, I'm not out the game. I'm still here. She still got thoughts and everything, but she just seems a little... I don't want to say angry, but maybe a little still all over the place, not totally settled. Maybe, maybe she still just needs some time to absorb what happened. Or maybe, 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 maybe. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull a card and I'm going to hope that this card is going to give me a good example of why would the, the Knight of Swords, so in your head, so, and this is like dashing, like a lot is going on in her life. She could be hurt over her boyfriend. It just seems like this is a lot going on in Meg's Thee Stallion. And maybe this is why she hasn't put out any music because she's struggling. I don't know, 
Look at the more I talk, the car, look at this. <laughs> do you see that? You know what that means? That means when the cards do that, I find that they got a lot of energy and they want me to pay attention to them, see? And when they don't, they just, that it's like there's a lot of energy going on. So, especially since recently Tory Lanez has been sentenced to 10 years. I'm going to give you the mic. Give me a second. So, anyway, with this problem, let's find out what the problem is. This oh. Corey Lang swear he didn't do it. A lot of people thought that Corey Lang was going to get off because of this. Right? Right. Do Meg Thee Stallion know who did this? I would think she would. I don't know. I'm not getting back into it. Baby, come go ahead. Yes. Because this up with the devil. So you could just because go ahead and if, segue us right on into this. Yes, you're right. Because Tory Lanez has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Has it, and that was just announced when? Um, two days ago. Mm, mm, mm. And- He maintained his innocence, Yes, right? he is. He was just like, I am innocent, even though you hurt me, claim and accept what is being sentenced on me. That was no way of me apologizing for what I've done because I didn't do anything. So basically. he's not apologizing? No, he's not apologizing. Then I'm lost. Then yes, he's guilty. But he said he's not guilty. guilty. Yes, he's still pleading his innocence. He apologized. Right, in court because he had to because of his prison sentence. But he really does not apologize because he didn't do anything. He's like, why am I apologizing for something I didn't do? Sometimes we just apologize because we're just sorry that it happened. I'm just sorry. I'm just apologizing because look where I am and look where this is. Look, at, I'm, a, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for me. I'm just, sometimes you can just be sorry, sorry. You know? Yes. You know, just not directed at anybody for anything. Just sorry out the conditions turned out. You, you know? Yeah, understandable. So anyway, you see that? Yes, I is do. Is it upside down? Yes, it is. What is it? It's the fool. All right. So remember, so let's go. So I have so many questions right now. And please, people, if you hear this and you have any questions or anything that you want to add to this story, please, I would love to know what's going on with me. So anything, anybody out there that have anything that you can add, by all means, please. Because right now I have Meg the Stallion and she's a Knight of Swords. When I see the Knight of Swords, I see someone that is dashing, that's that's got a lot of things in their head, that's out to conquer, that's out to win, that's out to prove a point, that's going to fight to the bitter end. But sometimes it can be blinded by anger, by hurt. And I see this person is just going through a stormy time right now, just, just going through. And this person has already been deceived by someone or something. And let's go in to find out what that is. I see definitely a five. I see that she is grieving. She is very sad. She's going through a loss. Right now, I definitely see some kind of moving on, um, having to move on, or moving on, or either the loss of her relationship. I don't know. We'll get back to that. <clears throat> However, I definitely see that there is still working, there is still ideas going on in work, and, and that it's not, she's not giving 100% maybe, but she's giving enough. She is definitely into working and giving to her work. So she could be doing, so we don't know what she's yes, doing. Yes, she's still on social media. She's just she not is. making music. Did she say why? Um, no, I haven't seen why, but she did just... Well, she's not making any solo music. Just here on July 1st, she had released a song with Ashanti. Oh, okay. Yes. So she's dead, like I said, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm really thinking that she's hurting. I don't think that she's over this, and I don't think she's over the breakup. Well, the breakup was back in May. So that's May, June, July, August, September. No, that's three months August, ago. August, yeah. You said May, yeah. June, July. That's not even. That's too. So still fresh. That's still fresh. 
And what happened to Koi, that's not even a year ago. Mm -hmm. That was back in what, fall? Oh no, that's way, well, yes, this no, trial that, case. this trial was yes. back in the fall. fall. That, was, mm -hmm. that, was, that was, what, six, eight months ago? ago? yes. So this is a lot. This is a lot. But we're definitely going to read these cards. And also, for the second, I definitely see new beginnings that maybe she is going to probably date, let somebody in. We don't know. That's iffy. However, mm, with that, I still see that her heart is guarded, her finances. I think that she's more on guard about her love life. Also, I think sexually, she's very sexual, and I think that that may get in the way sometimes. You know, you know, when you're young, you got your feelings, and sometimes they may make you do things, and you're more impulsive than you may not want to do. I'm not saying it is, but I like to deal with every aspect of my readings with all due respect. All right, here, I just think that this is just a grief, and I think that she's really going to try to somehow, some way, put it under her foot, and she knows that it's time to move on. Yeah, see, I think that she's really going to really work on the grief here. This grief, she's really grieving, and I think she's really going to put this grief under her foot because I think that she just needs somebody in her life, somebody to focus on, and I think somebody's going to come and help her and, you know, whatever, be it a mate somebody but I definitely see somebody coming along that's going to help her and I think that she's finally going to get rid of all this darkness that clouds her and clouding her music and cl mm. it's not clouding her music I, I don't want to say that it could be I mean she made an album called Trauma Zine it's clouding her talent sometimes our hurt can overpower us and it keeps coming out, and I think this is something that she's dealing with. And I think that she is, because I think once she deals with it and put it in its proper place and bury it, I think that she will emerge with new music, with a new thing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, she took a spill, she took a dive, she took ridicule, she took, she was just mauled. She was. Um, and I had no parts of it. Baby Crone and I had no parts. I was not going to feed off of those dead carcasses. No. And I, I, I just felt like no matter what, she was a victim. She How was. do a victim become the accuser? It just blew me away. But that's what happens when you have enemies and when you have people that's coming against you. And he probably was, in his group, he probably was a powerful guy. Here I see cups. So, so we're going to get into it. All right, baby Cole, let's get started. Let's start asking the hard questions. At the beginning, I definitely see here, as in her past, that she dealt with a heartache. I see that she's moving on with light work, but things are not fully clear yet. They're not fully clear. It has appearance of being clear, but the breakup is recent. She's still not, I'm seeing that there is a lot of water. I see cups, swords, I see cups, cups, cups. So this lets me see that these cups are getting in the way of her music, getting in the way of her, her putting her music out. What do you mean? When you, when you sad, when you are heartbroken, when you got troubles, it's hard to go for your creative, happy self when you got this negativity. However, she's doing the best she can. This is what I see in the cards, and I'm going to show you. Here, you see, this is somebody that's grieving. So she just broke up with her boyfriend, allegedly. Even if she didn't, the cards show that there is a loss, that she's grieving. She had great loss just within the last 12 months, guys. She dealt with a lot. And the ridicule of the people. Then here, you see, this is a six. But you see this six as somebody moving on. So it's like, but is she moving on? Because her back is turned. So could it be that the relationship has just gone and ran its course? It's done. And it's even though it's done and she turned her back on it, could it be that she still struggled with it? That even the breakup 
Even though it could be she can't even believe the things, or could it be that the everything about him she found out was deceitful? Oh, because that could remember be it the too. devil showed up. So we don't know these things, but as we get to ask questions, things have become more clear. So now we see in the near future, we see that she's still working, she's still making money. Not like she was, but she making good money. She holding her own, but this is by choice. So I definitely see somebody come in her life, dealing with her, helping her. Um, she's dealt with a lot. And I don't know if this is just, I don't even know if she's coming back. And and if so, I don't even know in what capacity. Mm -hmm. I truly, we'll come back and I'll ask that question. So I definitely see that when it comes down to love, I don't think that she's willing to give it all. See, I hear, I see somebody love could be knocking, but she ain't, she may want sex and all, but she ain't ready to just give her heart, give her life, give her money. She ain't ready for all that. But she's open for some fun and some good times and some key key moments and some moments where she's not feeling Whatever she, she's feeling that's making her feel down at times. However, I definitely see that she suffered a great loss. Something that she deals with today. However, I see that this woman is ready to move on and about making her coins. However, I see a block. I do. And that, and that block is facing her. And I don't know. And that block is emotion. This block is somebody standing in front of her with a whole lot of emotions, like dealing with the child, a young side of herself, dealing with all these emotions. And I'm wondering, is that May dealing with herself, dealing with the child and herself, like a lot of, a lot of emotions, like just not stable, but ready to move on. We will make all these things clear as we go through the cards. That was very interesting. Yes, and it I'm was. sorry that I couldn't answer them because... That wasn't the time. This is for what me reading. So I don't read the cards. Let's go in and start asking, baby call. What is it that you want to know, baby? Call? Yes, I want to know how is making the stallion right now? Okay, what do you mean? How like, like how? Yes, mentally in this moment. Okay, baby call wants to know how is making the stallion doing right now emotionally? Speak the truth, cards. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Well, this fell out, this is a five. So, emotionally, not good. Feeling, the best word that came to me, she feel like a bankrupt soul. And even though this woman is not bankrupt by no stretch of the imagination, so you know we're not talking about finances. Bankrupt. Bankrupt. Like, like you lost something. Like your soul is bankrupt. Baby clone, give me a meaning for bankrupt. Okay. That's 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 the word. That's the sentiment that came out. A bankrupt soul. I don't even know why I said it, but that's what it feels like. Because you got grieving on grieving of a loss. You know? And yet you see this big old devil there saying that it was all illusion. It wasn't real anyway. It was just a matter of time before the devil showed his true colors. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. Yes. Of a person or organization declared in law unable to pay outstanding debts. Bankrupt. Oh, so this is right. This is what I said. So it just seemed like somebody who, yeah, who just feel like I just can't pay the debt. Like, like people accused her and blamed her and, you know, and I think that that just really broke something inside of her and left her feeling that she, she is a bankrupt soul. But the truth is she owes nobody nothing. Her accuser was shown to be guilty and he's serving time. The card stacked up against him. Nobody delivered him. Nobody saved him. So it is what it is. Even though he remained guilty, all I see is just, this is just bankrupt. And I see that her career is right there. She's, 
It's right there. It's lucrative. It's that money. She ain't trying to let that go. But she's mentally struggling. She's struggling. She's moving on. But I definitely see a struggle. And she is doing stuff. Here, there. But she is doing something. I hope that helped. Yes. I How hope. does she feel hearing that Tory Lanez will be serving his time? Again. She just felt... Go ahead. I said it's right again. here. Mm -hmm. It just seems like justice is served. There ain't nothing to be said. It's like the truth prevails. This is no matter. This is what I'm getting because that's all I can go by as the judge. Because Corey is saying he's innocent, and I'm sure it's a lot of people out there believe he really is innocent. But the court and the by court of law, they found him innocent, guilty. Yes. So I can only see how she would feel because she was the one that had the accident happen to. So here I see as a standing still, as up as over, as in I can move on and put this behind me and go on about my life. This is what I see. A place of contentment, a stillness. Like... That's a whole lot of time to be able to get my head together and don't have to worry about this guy. Yeah, that is true. You know, and I hope that she doesn't have to worry about any of his friends coming up and trying to do something. But I think the law already thinks of that. I just hope that it's all over for her and that she can move on in her life. Yes, and have I peace. Can, I, I guess in her peace. Just as still as that horse, I hope that she has peace in her life. She deserves it. She deserves it. Yeah. Yes. My next question is, is Megan the Stallion open to having a love life? Is she open to a relationship? I'm glad you asked that because I was getting ready to ask that. Here's the pentacles. And of course, when you see pentacles, what is it? It's always about, about that dollar. It's about making that money. It's about thinking big. Right now, she wants it, but he would have to be about making money. He have to be, he have to have a lot going on in his life. Like he's got to be a career oriented. He got to have something. She can't be the one mm -hmm. to carry the relationship. So if it was, because you see here, you see she's big and everything around her is small. So here in a relationship, she needs somebody that can be equal with her. And I think that she's looking more for that. Is this guy an equal? Is he going to match her? Maybe not financially, but he, but he can afford her. Let's say that. Yes. Um, oh. Uh, I don't know. This could be, this card could mean he beat out the others. Or it could be, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going to come back to that. I have to come back to that one. What could, do you make out of that? It could be like fr if they were to get into a relationship and he matched her, they would have friction with each other. It could be that. So maybe like a because personality water clash. And her, but water but water and earth get along pretty good. Right? Right. If they keep people out of their relationship and... Uh, Water is emotional, so water tends to probably run and talk and share too much. You're right, I'm going to come back to that. But um, I definitely still see her heart is guarded, so she's really not ready to give. But I think if it was something with sexual and she liked the person, yes. But I don't know if she's ready to jump in full heartedly and give a, have a full relationship with someone. I definitely don't see that. Right now, they would have to prove themselves. Another question? Um, my question is, how does she feel about her music career? That's a very good question. How do you feel about your music career? She's just not accepting anything right now. She, she, it's, it's everything to her, right? Your music career is everything. Yes, it's everything. It's, it's everything. This is a king. This is like... This is like fire and water, but right now she's just going through something. You see, the more I pull, it's a lot of cups here, and it's a lot of cups, and, and you have pentacles. So that means her emotional state is getting in the way of her making money. 
you know. I guess she don't want to get on the stage and sing and start crying. Or when you dancing, I don't know. I, I have no idea, but I just see that there's a lot of emotionalism and that there is a lot of things that have to deal with money. It's like money is everywhere in here. Like that's on her mind. Not really money, but her career. Or maybe people are saying, when are you going to do your next album? Like, I don't know. I just see it. It's just coming from everywhere. Money, money, not money, but your career. Your career, what are you going to do? When are you going to put on an album? When, when, when? And as so much, I thought that she had put out one this year. And when you said Traumazine, it came out last May, right? Last November. Last, November. last August. Sorry. Last August. So it's a year You're today. Mm -hmm. So that's not really that old, really. Right? No, Angie had allegedly, not allegedly, but she had done a collab with Ashanti on July first, which was six weeks ago. Okay, so see, like I said, see, she's still out there. Maybe collabing. making her root. She's collabing. Come back. See, she's mm -hmm. out there collabing. She's moving on. Um, I really want to hear that song by her and Ashanti because yes. Ashanti is not a rapper at all. Oh, okay. You know, I'm real the way you move the way. Well, Ashante sang it first, and of course they gave it to J Lo. But nevertheless, it's still Ashante in that song. Okay, um, you have another question. Yes, my next question is going to be: Will Megan The Stallion return to her music career? Will she return? She's like she never left, but she's not like. Here's another five. With that five, it lets me know, wait a minute, this is four fives. Oh, my God. So with four fives, that means all the fighting, everything she's been through, things are going to turn around in her favor. Whatever this is, whatever she's going through, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, whatever that thing is that got her like this, that's been coming up against her, Whatever that competition, whatever that thing that she was doing, it's going to turn in her favor. It's going to turn in her favor. It's going to be like an unexpected surprise. It's going to turn in her favor. Things for her, it's going to turn around. Because that thing that really just kept gnawing and biting and biting, she has five, she has four fives. And so I know that things are going to turn around in her favor. Baby Phone, what do you have to say to that? Yes, what I have to say to that is, interestingly enough, she did not put out a song with Ashanti. She was dancing to a song of Ashanti. I apologize for that. Baby Clone told me yes. long news. There was no was song out by Ashanti. No. Thank you, Baby Clone. You're welcome. I was doing some research to find the music video, but I could not find no music video. However, what I want to know is... Since she's doing collabor, okay, how is Megan The Stallion keeping her career alive? Because she's like doing collaborations. Well, she's doing collaborations. I'm sure she does shows here and there. Um, is she just she like taking? Yeah, I know. Is she like taking it slower than she wants. Well, here it is financially. She's a oh. queen. Here it is financially. Queen financially, she's not broke. Financially, I guess she's just doing what a Carly B does. Sometimes they just need. I mean, the yeah. woman have been through a lot. Yes, she has. Okay? And, and it's nothing more. I mean, just to think, it hasn't even been a year. Mm -hmm. She just put a song out last August. It's just a year today. And I think she just needs time. Time. Time for what? To gather herself. To... Who is she now? Yes. Is she still at... Is she still going to come with hot girl summer? That's old. Is she still going to come with eh? I mean, that's old. So she's going to have to reinvent herself. Some kind of way. Be made. But I don't want to see hot girl summer. You're going to have to come with something. Yeah, true. That, was, that would be just as if she came back like nothing happened. No, it would just be like you haven't grown. I should see something about you that showed that you had a rough time. Not your music should express what you've been going through and how you overcame. Because the 
four, four, five says things are definitely whatever she's going through. It's going to be an unexpected turnaround. Something you don't even expect is going to turn around in her favor. Definitely. Definitely. And she is the queen. And that person that I talked about up here that was love, he's still here. And a card came here with judgment. But this is still here. And that shows me that he's still there. Whoever this guy she's meeting or going to meet is there for her through the rough times and the hard times. Like I said, this is somebody who has to stand on his own. But Meg liked them to me. My opinion, it just seems to me Meg like those cute roughnecks. And until she can get away from the style of man and maybe look at something differently than what she's attracted to, I think things will turn around. And here I see also the card of judgment came up. And that card let me know it's a wake-up call. It's time for you to revamp. Talk about Meg. Revamp. Renew. You know, hot girl summer's gone. That at, that may be your signature, but you need to come out with something different. A little bit more mature. A little bit more slower. Something to, to take us on a journey and, and show us where you've been. What do you think? Yes. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm not a rapper. But I just feel like the sentiment of these cards are showing me this woman has been through hell. She's been through hell, but she will rise again. She's still the queen. She's still beautiful, but she's gone through mental turmoil. She's been through hell and back. She, she has been deceived, lied on, cheated, abandoned, left. Used and abused. I mean, she's been through it all. And right now, I just see in this reading that it's going to turn around for her. Whatever that thing that have her down, it's just going to turn around unexpectedly in her favor. And as far as deception, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, you the dummy. There will be no free times. And I think that she's growing up. And I think that she's learning. And she's taking this time to absorb. And her music should reflect that. Because I think that if she come out with this hot girl act, I, I think that she might have a little problem. Because remember, the, the, the um, a lot of the rappers and the world was against her. Yes. So she's going to have to woo us back. She knows it's not going to be easy, but she always had people like you and me standing in her corner. You know? So whatever she does, do you have another question? No, I do not. I feel like we've answered all my questions. Yeah, I really do. And, and like I said, whatever it is, it's going to turn around in her favor. An unexpected surprise, whatever. Um, I have one question. I want to know, I'm going to take it from the middle, right here. Is she going to come out with a new album before this year is over with? She's, she's working on something. Hopefully something will come out by the end of the year or by the first of next year. So I definitely see new music. And as far as May, how is she? She's looking on new horizons. She's setting her goal. She's just growing up. And it's going to be something different about her. She can't be the same. What do you think? Yep. She's a year Scrolling old. Scrolling through her Instagram, she has videos of her working out in the gym. See? So she working on her body. Yeah, see? She ain't giving up because one time when I seen her, I, told her, I thought she looked kind of overweight. Yeah, you did say it. I said, she don't look well. She look overweight. And but eating hot spicy chips, her favorite signature. Her favorite pimples. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I have to follow her. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this reading on Meg the Stallion. And um, so Meg, whatever you're going through, I know it's going to be fine for you. Everything is going to turn around. Something that you need or something that you want that means a lot to you, that you may feel hopeless about it, but it's going to turn around in your favor 100%, whatever that is. However, I see that you, you business and money 
It's not money. Your career is first and center. And I definitely see you making a comeback. And I wish you success on whatever you do and your endeavors. And as far as I'm concerned, and Baby Crone is concerned, and the Lady Queen who asked about you, we're rooting for you. And we wish you nothing but the best. On that, we'd like to thank you, my little crones, my little munchkins, and my sunflowers. Have a glorious, glorious evening and a wonderful, wonderful Sunday day and evening. And have a good day on Monday. Sunflowers!